Hello, this is video 4 in the fractions video series. We're having a look at improper fractions and mixed numerals. This is uh, starting to get a bit tricky here, um, so I'll give you two good examples of how we do this manually, in and also I'll uh, include how we can do these things on the calculator, moving from improper fractions to mixed numerals and vice versa. Let's have a look. So what are improper fractions and mixed numerals? Let's just get a bit of the basics again. Improper fractions have a bigger number on the top. So an example of an improper fraction we saw in a previous video is 8 over 3. 8 is a bigger number and it's on top. Looks a bit strange, but still. And uh, we're sometimes asked, often asked in tests, to turn an improper fraction into a mixed numeral. So what's a mixed numeral? Well, it's good because the name sort of gives a bit of a hint here. A mixed numeral is a mixture of a whole number and a fraction beside it. I'm sure you've seen plenty of these. So 2 is a whole number and 2 thirds is a fraction but uh, 2 and 2 thirds would be on the number line between 2 and 3. Um, so it's a bit of a mixture, a bit strange, but let's see how we can work with uh, improper uh, fractions and mixed numerals and uh, convert between the two of them. Okay, we're asked to convert an improper fraction here, 5 over 3, into a mixed numeral. Okay, now follow along here, 5 over 3. What we do first is to divide the bottom into the top. So that happens in any fraction. The bottom is actually dividing into the top here. So 3 divides into 5 once with 2 remainder. I'll say that again, 3 divides into 5 once with 2 remainder. So, we do that division and we keep in mind that it's gone once. So the amount that it goes in, the once, <laughs> becomes the front number of our mixed numeral. So we, once again, 3 into 5 goes once. So that becomes the front number. Now I mentioned a remainder here. The remainder becomes the top of the fraction that's going to be written beside the 1. So our remainder was, can you remember, 3 goes into 5 once with 2 remainder. So that becomes the top of our fraction section there. The remainder goes up the top there. And this last bit's uh, <laughs> thankfully pretty straightforward. The bottom stays the same. So our original bottom in our fraction was 3 and it just slides across to become the, the bottom of the newly formed mixed numeral there. So quite a lot's happened there. Five went in, sorry, 3 went into 5 once and that created the front number. Then uh, our remainder when 3 went into 5, there was a remainder of 2. It became the top number, and the bottom stayed the same. So 5 thirds, 5 over 3, became 1 and 2 thirds uh, when it was converted to be a mixed numeral. Let's have a look at another example. Let's convert 11 over 4 into a mixed numeral. Exactly the same method, slightly different numbers. 11 over 4. Step 1 is to divide the bottom into the top. So... 4 goes into 11 twice with 3 remainder. Goes in twice with 3 remainder. So that uh, amount that it goes in, the twice, becomes the 2 front number in our mixed numeral. So 4 goes into 11 twice, so that's created the front number. And the remainder was 3. That becomes the top. And the bottom stays the same. So 4 went into 11 twice, created that 2 there. 4 went into 11 twice with 3 remainder, that created our 3 for the top, and the bottom stayed the same. So 11 over 4 has become 2 and 3 quarters. Okay, uh, now on our calculator, what we can do is the following. We can enter 9 over 2 into our fraction button, then we can press equals, and then if we press shift, and the S to D button, which is just over near your uh, equal signs, no, actually it's near your um, all clear signs, um, then that will give you an answer straight out of four and a half. So we enter it into our calculator using the fraction button. We kind of press equals to uh, get it locked in, and then we go Shift S to D button, and uh, that should give us our mixed numeral out of our improper fractions. Okay, a bit tricky, but if we're allowed to use our calculator, we probably should, even just to check our normal manual work. Okay, to move in the other direction here, we've been given a mixed numeral, and we've got to try and find an improper fraction out of it. Okay, it can get tricky, so listen in carefully. You can always watch the videos over and over if you're not sure the first time. 
Okay, step one, multiply the front number, in this case the three, by the bottom number, in this case also a three. So three times three is nine. Let's keep this uh, tally as we go. Three times three is nine. Then we add the top. So, so far, when we've done three times three, we've got nine here. I'll just write it as we go. Then if we add the top, nine plus two is, nine plus two is, let me write the nine in again. I got nine so far when I did three times three. Plus the two makes 11. Now that becomes the top of the new fraction. So 3 times 3 was 9, plus 2 is 11. That becomes the top of the improper fraction. So that's the tricky bit. The nice bit after that is that the bottom stays the same again. So that 3 comes across and it's the new um, bottom of the improper fraction. Pretty tricky. We'll see another example in a sec, but uh, let's just recap. 3 times 3 was 9, plus 2 is 11. That created the top number of our improper and the bottom stayed the same. Kind of working opposite directions to what we did before. A bit hard to remember though, but uh, so let's have a look at another example. Four and two, th sorry, four and two fifths into an improper fraction. Okay, front number times the bottom makes 20. Add the top, 20 plus two is 22. That creates the top number on the fraction, on the improper fraction, and the bottom stays the same. Okay, 4 times 3 was 20, uh, sorry, 4 times 5 was 20, plus 2 was 22, that goes up the top, and the bottom stays the same. It's nice when the, the, the bottom stays the same each time, it gives us one less thing to worry about. Okay, we can uh, do these sorts of things on our calculator though, so let's have a look. 6 and 3 quarters, it's a bit, it's not all that easy to put 6 and 3 quarters properly into your calculator, there is a wrong way to do it. The correct way to do it is to press shift, then the fraction button, and then when you do that, you'll see that the uh, the screen on your calculator is giving you th three boxes to fill in. Now, obviously, we'll put a six in that first box. We'll put three quarters in those other two boxes, and we'll have entered the mixed numeral that way. Then we'll just press equals, and it should give us an answer of 27 over 4 in this case. So that can either be used if we've got our calculator available for us or to just double check our work if we're uh, doing it in our head or uh, on paper. So yeah, pretty tricky. Um, watch the videos and over, over and over again if you're not sure of what we did there and get good at these because these are often asked in tests and uh, often halfway through other questions to make it easier for us. So I hope that helps. That's working with mixed numerals and improper fractions. Thanks for listening. See you next time.